Okay, I just talked to myself for like the last 15 minutes probably. And it's okay. I don't know what you missed, but I'm going to have to redo this anyway. I mean, we got the we got the snake to move, which looks cool. Um, but what we really want is the line to move. We want the snake to stay in the same spot. Uh, he'll actually move in the engine, but just the animations need to change. So, uh, one thing I need to clean up later will be uh, right here. The envelopes for the skinning will need to be changed. Or the verts for the skinning will need to be changed around a few areas. But other than that, you can tell it looks pretty decent. He's getting a little wavy motion here when he goes, which might look all right. So I'll clean that up later. We don't worry about that for the tutorial. Um, but I need to reset this up. So I thought I had a position constraint on him, but I think I had it on this, on the up constraint dummy. If you don't have this up constraint, he will twist around every turn. His bones will twist, and the mesh will be completely twisted right around here in each spot. So we'll leave that, and then we'll go to we'll, we'll go to the spine bone and see if we can't get it to stay in one spot. Now we want the spine, not his head or anything. We want his head to move freely. Just his his main backbone to stay in the same spot. So let's try this. Uh, animation constraints. I tried. What I tried before, let's try position. No. Okay, it sinks into there, which could be okay. There we go, now we can move the line. I'll have to move the line. Uh, figure out how to move it to make them look right. However, that should be okay. So, if you missed it, because I'm not sure where it stopped recording, what I did simply was I probably did this four times already. But click his backbone, which we named Bipo One. I'm sorry, we set up a spline, so we got IK solver, spline IK solver. After I clicked Bipo One, and then I made a line to his tail nub, and then I made a line to the spline. And that set this up. And if I missed anything else, I'll be sure and write it down. So I'm going to go ahead and give this guy a few animations and set up some more paths. And in the next tutorial, I'll probably uh, just get us to uh, set up the files and uh, export it to the engine. All right.